You are listening to Mining Stock Education, where you'll learn from the top leaders in the natural resource sector and uncover quality mining investment opportunities. Uh, at least in my experience in Greenfields, which is a tough business, uh, I would say this is probably the best hole that I've been associated with. Um, new discovery. I mean, it's always very exciting. I'm Bill Powers. It's Mining Stock Education. And uh, it's my pleasure today to bring to you an update from Torque Resources on the heels of a just announced discovery hole. And if you've been following along as we've been interviewing Executive Chairman Sean Wallace and Chief Geologist Michael Hendrickson at one of the projects, the Margarita Projects, when we initially spoke about this, the whole idea was to hit the copper sulfide source because there was copper oxides at surface and the company just announced an excellent hole today. This is a new discovery at its Margarita IOCG project, 90 meters of 0.94% copper. That alone is good, but add to that a gold component of 0.84 grams per ton gold. Sean, congratulations on the discovery. Could you please comment on this specific hole and remind us what we're dealing with also at this Margarita project? Yeah, well, we're really excited to uh, be announcing the discovery hole today, Bill. The, uh, you know, this was a, a, con a concept project. Uh, we had some copper oxide that was uh, peripheral to the project, uh, just coming up to the property boundary. And that just sort of um, begged the question, well, where where is that coming from? And so we uh, had, you know, embarked on a sort of initial drill program here late in 2021. And as we uh, came in here in 2022, we completed the project. And, you know, lo and behold, as you would have it on the last hole, uh, we drilled into a, a big geophysical anomaly that um, yielded the hole that we're all talking about here today. It's just fantastic. It's on a project that has never been drilled before. It uh, opens a whole world of possibilities for how this project could or couldn't be. And, you know, we're going to look forward to drilling it in the weeks and months to come. Michael, uh, you've looked at a lot of projects. You've drilled a lot of projects as a greenfield project. How does this rank in your experience? Yeah, certainly. I mean, uh, at least in my experience in Greenfields, which is a tough business, uh, I would say this is probably the best hole that I've been associated with. Um, new discovery. I mean, it's always very exciting. Um, you know, we came in with a simple concept, you know, where's the copper sulfide? And, and you know, we, we're on to it. Uh, it's got a strong signature in geophysics and geochemistry and geology. So we got a lot of different vectors pointing us to the fact that, you know, we got about a kilometer of that signature to go explore. Um, we've also got other targets now that we're, you know, now that we've made this discovery and learned what mineralization looks like, there are other targets that are looking similar on the project. We look forward to daylighting those in the future. Um, but just a, an amazing start, you know, first drill program. That is a, that's a thing of beauty. So we're, we're very excited. So you hit 90 meters of 0.94% copper for newer copper investor investors. Can you put that grade in the context of what the average copper mine is producing worldwide? You know, certainly um, it's a high grade intercept. Uh, it's a structurally confined intercept as uh, iron oxide, copper, gold deposits typically are. Um, the copper alone is, I would consider it to be, to high, to, to be high grade. Um, but you throw that gold component in at, you know, near a gram and it becomes something in my mind a little bit exceptional um so when the gold component came in uh, on the assay sheets we kind of did a double take and went oh wow okay that's that's a lot of uh credit we're going to get for that so um look one hole into this system so far um so it's hard to comment uh, too much on it and it, but you know obviously we can't wait to get the drill bit back out there so you reported actual grades. You didn't go into equivalencies. A lot of investors don't like equivalencies, but just to, and the purpose of equivalencies, of course, is to show a potential economic value in the future. If you did it in copper equivalency or gold equivalency, did you do some back of the napkin calculations, what we might be looking at here? Yeah, back of the envelope, I can tell you it's somewhere around 1.45% copper equiv. Um, of course, that doesn't take into account all the things that you need to to, to do to say that number officially like metallurgical recoveries and whatnot. But at the end of the day, I mean, look, that's, that's the raw metal equivalent value. Uh, it's high grade. And I think that's the point on a discovery, you know, we're dealing with a high grade mineralized system um, and we need to learn a lot more about it. Uh, you know, as we look to expand it, you know, to me, uh, certainly in this IOCG belt in Chile, you know, I would characterize this as an important intercept. Talk to us about the next steps for targeting and what are what 
planned drill campaigns do we have? Well, next steps, um, you know, obviously we're in the midst of uh, planning our drill program. You get a result like that, you get on it right away. Um, and it's, you know, quite simple and that, that signature is clear in the geophysics and the geology and the geochemistry. So we're going to be marching up and down that FIA 13 corridor. Um, from there, uh, we have a few other targets that we're starting to really pay attention to. Um, so really, it's just a question of getting, getting ourselves prepared to go and drill again uh, in the coming months. Sean, could you talk about from an executive uh, standpoint, your philosophy when it comes to a multi-project uh, explorer? Now you have this discovery hole at Margarita. You're also going to be following up on a almost kilometer long discovery hole from a few dec- couple decades ago at the Sa- Santa Cecilia project. How are you managing? How are you allocating uh, your resources to these projects? Yeah, <clears throat> thanks, Bill. That, that is always a challenge uh, uh, in, in a company like this. However, we're very fortunate that the infrastructure um, uh, to sort of run the business in Chile uh, through our association with our, our Chilean business unit or our team uh, led by Waldo Quadra, which has been fantastic. A multidisciplinary team uh, that sort of really put all this together uh, with us or for us. And, uh, you know, the, uh, in, if, with these two projects in particular, there's a little bit of a mother nature helper, I guess, in the sense that, you know, over the summer months here, the Margarita project, which is located at very low elevation, very near infrastructure and so forth, um, you know, it uh, is something that we can just continue working on. Uh, Santa Cecilia is going to uh, sort of go to sleep for the winter and uh, we'll, we'll get her going again in September, or October with a drill campaign. So I think, you know, it's certainly um, having both of them going um, at the same time, we'll have to hire a few more people. Uh, down in Chile. But again, another one of the really, really fantastic attributes of Chile is that quality, top quality uh, geoscientists, et cetera, are available. So, you know, I don't anticipate it being uh, the challenge it would be if we were in somewhere more remote with less of a mining culture. Are there any permits needed both to start drilling in the fall at uh, Santa Cecilia or at Margarita? Uh, yeah, I think we can, we're good at Marguerite under our current permitting. Uh, we, as you know, we just finished a drill program, hence the discovery hole. Um, in Santa Cecilia, Cecilia, we're just finalizing our arrangement with the local community, and then that will uh, have us uh, permitted by certainly by the fall. Michael, have you gotten any feedback from uh, uh, some of your colleagues in the industry? I know we're speaking only a couple hours after the press release came out, but uh, any feedback yet? Yeah, I had a few notes in my inbox this morning, uh, congratulatory notes. So it was nice to see uh, from some people that uh, have have done this for a long time. And so I think everybody regards this as a as a proper as a proper drill hole into something new. You know, so uh, now the job's to go out and just see exactly what this uh, is going to become. And what are the assay turnaround times looking at uh, right now currently? Yeah, I'd say sort of six to eight weeks still. Okay. No. Six to eight weeks. Yeah. Sean, uh, the recent financing, uh, could you go over that with us and also address uh, why you issued a full warrant? Typically your group does not issue a full warrant. What were some of the dynamics and decision-making issues that went into that? Well, yeah, I mean, the financing, you know, we needed to do a financing um, and the company had just acquired this, the Santa Cecilia project uh, from a regulatory stand, <coughs> excuse me, standpoint, we weren't POP eligible, so we were unable to go do, say, a bot deal structured financing. So we were sort of left with the private placement structured financing, which, of course, we've all done many over the years. Um, I've come to myself prefer the other ones where, the, where you get to work with the banks and they just give you a bot deal letter and you do a, a, the stocks free trading, et cetera. That usually allows you to uh, not have to... Uh, you know, provide a warrant to as an incentive. Um, I think you couple that with uh, the pandemic kicked back up again, the Russian war. I know these aren't excuses. These are inflation. Some of the things that are weighing heavy on investors these days. It was just a, I'd have to say, one of the most suboptimal uh, environments to be uh, raising capital in that I've had to endure in in some time since probably around the 2000 when gold was at you know 180 dollars an ounce and um and we were fighting with the, everyone being distracted by dot coms and the amazons of the world being born uh so you know it, it was what it was we had to add a warrant as an incentive um and we also did that in order to make sure that we attracted the best quality shareholders uh, that we could. And I think we were very successful in doing that. But no, it was, a, it was not the easiest thing to get done, though, I have to be honest. It, uh, and I think you're seeing that amongst our peers and, and really across the board these days. 
And what is the treasury at and how far will that take us? Yeah, I think we've got about four and a half million dollars in the bank uh, now. We've got, uh, so that'll take us into the autumn with, with the plans that we have right now that the board's approved. You know, we, we uh, you know, we would seek uh, to find an opportunity to get some additional capital. We could accelerate some of the, some of these programs. We're working on a number of things in that regard. And a bought deal could be in the future now that you're a little bit past the, the recent acquisition. Yeah, it could be. I mean, we have our 43 101s and all this. I won't bore everybody with all the things that you have to do, but there, you know, certainly there's a lot of filing that has, has to be all lined up for that. And, you know, of course, it was impossible for us to have when you've just acquired a project. You typically haven't had time to generate technical reports on it. For and Sean, if you could just, uh, in conclusion, just give us a rundown of the, let's say, the next three months in terms of catalyst for the company, please. Yeah, well, I think the, the major catalyst, obviously, we're going to get out here and to talk with the story over with everyone that will listen. And uh, um, I think, we, as Mike said, I've also received a number of emails in my inbox this morning on, on, on the on the discovery. And so uh, we'll certainly be following up those interests and um, who knows where that will lead us. But, uh, you know, there will be another drill program at uh, Margarita. There'll be a drill program at Santa Cecilia in the fall. And I think, uh, you know, a bunch of little things around that community uh, advancements and and all and you know who knows and we have our Andrea project which we did some sort of superficial work on that some of the results are coming in and it's starting to look quite interesting so um, I don't think you'll see us running con- you know programs at all three projects at the same time um, but uh, you know we'll just continue pushing these assets forward the best we can. Well, congratulations, uh, Sean Michael, on the new discovery, and we'll be uh, pr- following your progress throughout the year. Thank you for providing this update. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Bill.